Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to read From Tadpole to Frog by Wendy Pfeiffer, illustrated by Holly Keller. This is Frog Pond, but where are the frogs? When winter winds whistle, the frogs hide. They sleep at the bottom of the pond in the soft mud. Frogs hibernate in their hideaway all winter long. After the ice melts, flowers appear. Birds return and the pond creatures wake up. Spring has arrived at Frog Pond. Here are the old frogs stretching their legs. At night you hear, Baroom, Baroom, Baroom. The males are calling to their mates. The females hear the call. The male hugs his mate and fertilizes her eggs as she lays them in the water. Thousands of soft jelly covered eggs cling together in the cool water. In about 10 days, the eggs hatch. The pond comes alive with thousands of tiny tadpoles. They wiggle their tails and breathe underwater with gills, just like fish. During the summer, the tadpoles swim about eating water plants. But water beetles, snakes, birds are eating too. They're eating tasty tadpoles. When fall comes, look carefully in the water. Are any tadpoles left? Look here. Are they tadpoles or wet leaves? They're brownish speckled tadpoles. Hundreds of them float by with the brownish speckled leaves. Eating and swimming, swimming and eating. The tadpoles grow fat. When winter winds blow again, they burrow under the mud at the bottom of the pond. They do not eat, they do not move. They just sleep. Remember, they're hibernating. When spring sunshine warms the tadpoles world, they awake hungry. So they swim and eat, eat and swim. Tiny hind legs begin to sprout. They grow longer and stronger while the tail grows shorter. Tiny front legs begin to show and the tadpoles look like long-tailed frogs. All summer, the tadpoles change more. Lungs develop and more. Mouths and eyes grow larger and more until they become frogs. When their tails disappear, they are no longer tadpoles. Now they use their strong legs and webbed feet to swim instead of their tails. Now they can rest on lily pads and leap onto land. The frogs lick out, they flick out their long sticky tongues and capture worms, spiders, and dragonflies. Now where are the frogs? Slowly, the days grow colder Winter winds blow and birds fly south. Once again, the pond creatures hibernate. Where are the frogs now?